grade 9 atoms and molecules part 2 questions and answers question number 1 name the scientist who laid the foundation of chemical science how answer a allows here laid the foundation of chemical sciences by establishing two important laws of chemical combination question number two define law of conservation of mass answer law of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction question number three state the law of constant proportion answer this law states that in a pure chemical substance the elements are always present in definite proportions by mass Question number 4. Name the Indian philosopher who proposed the theory of matter. Answer. An Indian philosopher Maharshi Kanad proposed the theory of matter. Question number 5. Name the scientist who proposed the modern atomic theory. Answer. The modern atomic theory was proposed by John Dalton. Question number 6. Name the scientist whose, whose experimentations established laws of chemical combination. Answer. Experimentation done by Lavoisier and Joseph L. Prost. Question number 7. What are the main postulates of Dalton's atomic theory? Answer. 1. All matter is made of very tiny particles called atoms. 2. Atoms are indivisible particles which can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. 3. Atoms of a given element are identical in mass and chemical properties. 4. Atoms of different elements have different masses and chemical properties. 5. Atoms combine in the ratio of small whole numbers to form compounds. 6. The relative number and kinds of atoms are constant in a given compound. Question number 8. Give a drawback of Dalton's atomic theory. Answer. According to the modern theory, atom is not the ultimate indivisible particle of matter. Atoms are made up of particles like protons, electrons, neutrons, etc. Question number 9. Which postulate of Dalton's atomic theory is the result of the law of conservation of mass? Answer. Atoms are indivisible particles which can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. Question number 10. Which postulate of Dalton's atomic theory can explain the law of definite proportions? Answer. Atoms combine in the ratio of small whole numbers 
to form compounds. In a compound, the relative number and kinds of atoms are constant. Question number 11. What is an atom? Answer. An atom is the smallest particle of matter which takes part in a chemical reaction. The building blocks of all matter are atoms. Question number 12. How are Basilius Zine symbols to the elements? Answer. Vasilius assigned symbols to the elements by taking first two or, first or two letters of the elect element's name in English and in some cases the symbols have been taken from the names of elements in different languages such as Latin, German, Greek, etc. The first letter of a symbol is always written as a capital letter and the second letter is as a small letter. Question number 13. What is atomic mass? Answer. The mass of an atom of an element is called atomic mass. Question number 14. What is atomic mass unit? Answer. Atomic mass unit is defined as the mass unit equal to exactly one twelfth of the mass of one atom of carbon-12 isotope. Earlier it was abbreviated as AMU. Now it is written as U, unified mass. Question number 15. What is relative atomic mass of an atom? Answer. Relative atomic mass of an atom is defined as the average mass of the atom as compared to one twelfth of the mass of one carbon twelve atom. Question number 16. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16. Explain. Answer. Atomic mass of oxygen is 16 U means that one atom of oxygen is 16 times heavier than one twelfth of a carbon atom. Atomic mass of oxygen is 16 means that mass of an oxygen atom is 16 U. Question number 17. What is the atomic masses of the following elements? Hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sodium, magnesium, sulfur, chlorine, and calcium. Answer. Element hydrogen, atomic mass is 1U. Carbon, 12U. Nitrogen, 14U. Oxygen, 16U. Sodium, 23U. Magnesium 24U, Sulfur 32U, Chlorine 35.5U, Calcium 40U. Question number 18. How do atoms exist? Answer. Atoms exist in the form of molecules and ions. Question number 19. Which element is used as the standard reference for measuring atomic masses? Answer. Carbon-12 isotope was chosen as the standard reference for measuring atomic masses. Question number 20. What is a molecule? 
Answer. A molecule can be defined as the smallest particle of an element or a compound that is capable of an independent existence and shows all the properties of that substance. Example. Molecule of oxygen is O2. Question number 21. How do you differentiate between a molecule of an element and a molecule of a compound? Write one example of each type. Answer. Molecule of an element is made up of only one kind of atoms. Example O2, N2, O3, etc. Molecule of a compound is made up of two or more different kind of atoms in a fixed ratio. Example H2O, NH3, Question number 22. Define atomicity. Answer. The number of atoms constituting a molecule is known as its atomicity. Question number 23. Classify molecules on the basis of atomicity with the examples. Answer. On the basis of atomicity, molecules can be classified as 1. Monoatomic molecules. They consist of only one atom. Example, helium, argon. 2. Diatomic molecules. They consist of two atoms. Example, hydrogen H2, oxygen O2. 3. Triatomic molecules. They consist of three atoms. Example, ozone O3, carbon dioxide CO2. 4. Tetraatomic molecules. They consist of four atoms. Example, phosphorus P4. 5. Polyatomic molecules. They consist of more than four atoms. Example, methane CH4. Question number 24. What are ions? Explain the types of ions with examples. Answer. The charged species are known as ions. It can be negatively or positively charged. A negatively charged ion is called an anion. Example chloride ions. A positively charged ion is called a cation. Example sodium ions a group of atoms carrying a charge is known as polyatomic ion example hydroxide OH question number 25 what are ionic compounds answer ionic compounds are compounds made up of cations and anions example sodium chloride consists of sodium ions and the chloride ions question number 26 what is meant by the term chemical formula? Answer. The chemical formula of a compound is a symbolic representation of its composition. Chemical formula of a compound shows 
its elements and the number of atoms of each combined element question number 27 what is valency what is its use answer the combined power or capacity of an element is known as its valency valency can be used to find out how the atom of an element will combine with the atoms of another element to form a chemical compound Question number 28 What are the rules for writing the chemical formula Answer The valencies or charges on the iron must be balanced When a compound consists of a metal or a, and a non-metal the name of the name or symbol of the metal is written first and on the left whereas of non metal on its right example calcium oxide cao sodium chloride nacl when compound is formed with polyatomic ions the ion is enclosed in a bracket before writing the number to indicate the ratio example calcium hydroxide caoh2 In case if the number of polyatomic ion is 1 the bracket is not required example sodium hydroxide NaOH Question number 29 what are binary compounds answer The simplest compounds which are made up of two different elements are called binary compounds. Question number 30 What are the rules to write chemical formula for simple compounds? Answer One write the constituent elements and their valencies as shown. Two write the symbol of cation first. followed by the symbol of anion 3 then cross over the valencies to get the formula 4 positive and negative charge charges must balance each other and uh, and the overall structure must be neutral Question number 31 What is the chemical formula of formula for ammonium phosphate Symbol NH4 PO4 valency of NH4 positive 1 PO4 negative 3 minus 3 Formula for ammonium phosphate is NH4 3 PO4 Question number 32 An element is it has a valency of 3 what is its formula of oxide of is it answer symbol is said o valency is said positive 3 o negative 2 formula is criss cross then is said 2 o3 Question number 33 What is molecular mass Answer It is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms present in a molecule It is expressed in atomic mass unit u Question number 34 Find the molecular mass of water H2O to nitric acid HNO3 answer atomic mass of hydrogen 
equals 1 u atomic mass of oxygen 16 u so the molecular mass of water h2o equals 2 into 1 plus 16 equals 18 u answer 2 question number 2 S answer is atomic mass of hydrogen equals 1 u atomic mass of nitrogen 14 u atomic mass of oxygen 16 u so the molecular mass of nitric acid HNO3 equals the atomic mass of hydrogen plus the atomic mass of nitrogen plus 3 into the atmos atomic mass of oxygen equals 1 plus 14 plus 3 into 16 equals 63 U. Question number 35. What is formula unit mass? Answer. The formula unit mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all atoms in a formula unit of a compound. It is calculated in the same manner as we calculate the molecular mass. Question number 36. Calculate the formula ma unit mass of NaCl CaCl2. Answer. Formula unit mass of NaCl sodium chloride is atomic mass of sodium into 1 plus atomic mass of chlorine into 1 equals 23 into 1 plus 35.5 into 1 equals 58.5 U. Formula unit mass of calcium chloride equals atomic mass of, atomic mass of calcium into 1 plus Atomic mass of chlorine into 2 equals 40 into 1 plus 35.5 into 2 equals 40 plus 71 equals 111 U. Question number 37. Define mole. Avogadro number. 1 mole answer 1 mole of any species atoms molecules ions or particles is that quantity in number having a mass equal to its atomic or molecular mass in grams to Avogadro number answer the number of particles atoms molecules or ions present in one mole of any substance is fixed with the value of 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. This number is called the Avogadro constant or Avogadro number. Question number 38. Name the international organization who approves names of elements. Answer International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry IUPAC Question number 39 What is the significance of mole? Answer a mole represents the following 1. It represents the quantity in number that is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. 2. The mass of one mole of, a, of an element is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. 3. One mole of a substance represent 1 gram formula mass of the substance that the ie that means 1 mole of atom of an element equals 1 gram atomic mass of the element that means 1 mole of 1 mole of molecules of a substance equals 
gram molecular mass of the substance example 1 mole of oxygen O2 molecules equals 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules equals 32 gram of oxygen Question number 40. What is molar mass? What are its units? Answer. The mass of one mole of a substance is called molar mass. It is equal to its relevant atomic or molecular mass in gram. Its unit is gram per mole. Question number 41. Distinguish between molecular mass and molar mass. Answer. The molecular mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all atoms in a molecule. Whereas the mo mass of one mole of any substance is called its molar mass. Question number 42. 1. Calculate the molar mass of sodium sulfate. 2. What are the valencies of sulfur in SO2 and SO3? 3. Calculate the number of molecules in 5 moles of SO2. Given atomic mass of sulfur equals 32U, oxygen 16U, sodium 23U, avocadro number 6.022 into 10 to 23. Answer. Molar mass of sodium sulfate Na2SO3 equals the atomic mass of sodium into 2 plus the atomic mass of sulfur plus the atomic mass of oxygen into 3 equals 23 into 2 plus 32 plus 16 into 3 that is 126 gram. Valency of sulfur is Valency of sulfur in SO2 is 4 and valency of sulfur in SO3 is 6. 5. The number of mol molecules in 5 moles of SO2 equals 5 into Avogadro's number in equals 5 into 602 into 10 raised to 23 equals 3.011 into 10 raised to 24. Question number 43. Why atomic mass of an element does not represent the actual mass of its atom? Answer. Atoms of different elements are very small and their actual masses are extremely small. To solve this problem we consider the relative atomic mass of the element. The relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1u and, it is corresp and its corresponding gram atomic mass is 1G. Question number 44. Calculate the number of moles for the following. 1. 3.011 into 10 raised to 23 number of oxygen atoms. 2. 60 gram of calcium. Given atomic mass of calcium equals 40 u and a vagadro number 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 answer number of moles equals given number of atoms divided by a vagadro's number so the number of moles of oxygen oxygen atoms is equal equals 3.011 into 10 raised to 23 divided by 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 equals 0.5 moles 2. Number of moles 16 gram of calcium equals given mass divided by molar mass equals 60 by 40 equals 1.5 moles. Question number 45. 
find the number of atoms in 120 gram of calcium and 120 gram of iron which one has more number of atoms and how much is the difference atomic mass of calcium is 40u iron is 56u answer gram molecular mass of calcium equals 40u therefore 40 gram of calcium contains the number of atoms 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 so 120 gram of calcium contains number of atoms equals 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 divided by 40 into 120 equals mm, 18.066 into 10 raise to 23 equals 1.8066 into 10 raise to 24 atoms again gram molecular mass of iron is 56 gram therefore 56 gram of iron contains number of atoms equals 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 so 120 gram of iron contains number of atoms 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 divided by 56 into 120 equals 12.904 into 10 raise to 23 equals 1.2 into 2.904 into 10 raise to 24 atoms therefore 120 gram of calcium has more number of atoms difference equals 1.8066 minus 1.2 2904 into 10 raise to 24 equals 5.162 into 10 raise to 23 atoms. Question number 46. How do we express number of particles in terms of moles? 2. How do we express mass of a substance in terms of moles 3 calculate the number of moles in 56 gram of helium answer number of moles is equal to equals given number of atoms divided by Avogadro's number 2 number of moles equals given mass divided by gram atomic mass 3 number of moles equals mass of helium divided by gram atomic mass of helium 56 divided by 4 equals 14 mole question number 47 calculate the number of particles in each of the following 1 46 gram of sodium atoms molar mass of sodium 23 Avogadro number 6 0.022 into 10 raise to 23 2 8 gram of oxygen molecules atomic mass of oxygen equals 16 u 3.1 mole of carbon atoms number from given moles okay answer 1 the number of atoms equals given mass divided by molar mass into Avogadro's number equals 46 divided by 23 into 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 equals 12.044 into 10 raise to 23 2 the number of molecules given mass divided by molar mass equals Avogadro's number atomic mass of oxygen equals 16 u so molar mass of oxygen O2 equals 6, 16 into 2 32 gram number of molecules equals 8 by 32 into 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 equals 1.5055 into 10 raise to 23 3 the number of particles or atom equals number of moles of particles into Avogadro number equals 0.1 into 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 equals 6.022 into 10 raise to 22 
Question number 48. What is the difference between atom and a molecule? Answer. Atom. An atom is the smallest particle of an element that takes part in a chemical reaction. A molecule is the smallest particle of an element or a compound that is capable of an independent existence. An atom, when similar atoms combine together in varying numbers, molecules of different properties can be formed. Example, hydrogen H, oxygen O. When similar molecules combine together in any numbers, a simple similar product is formed. Example, hydrogen molecule H2, oxygen molecule O2. An atom is not stable by itself. A molecule is usually stable by itself. Question number 49. Convert 12.043 into 10 raised to 22 molecules of sulfur dioxide into moles. Answer. 1 mole of sulfur dioxide SO2 equals 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules. 1 molecule equals 1 by 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 mole of SO2 equals 12.043 into 10 raised to 22 molecules equals 1 by 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 into 12.043 into 10 raised to 22 equals 1.99 into 10 raised to minus 1 equals 0.2 moles of sulfur dioxide. Another method number of moles equals number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number 12.0 Zero four three into ten raised to twenty two divided by six point zero two two into ten raised to twenty three equals one point nine nine into ten raised to minus one equals point two moles of SO two. Question number fifty. A gold sample contains ninety percent of gold and the rest copper. How many atoms of gold are present in 1 gram of the sample of gold? Atomic mass of gold is 197 U. Answer. 1 gram of gold sample will contain 90 by 100 equals 0.9 gram of gold. Number of moles of gold equals mass of gold divided by atomic mass of gold equals 0 0.9 divided by 197 equals 0 0.0046 1 mole of gold equals 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 therefore 0.0046 mole of gold will contain 0 0.0046 into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 equals 2.77 into 10 raised to 21 